Hey everyone, welcome to this week's Spark AR tutorial. This week's tutorial is going to be mainly aimed at those of us with a 2D background, so illustrators, graphic designers, people like that. You have visual skills and these skills can transfer really easily across into 3D and augmented reality design. Uh, I myself started off as an illustrator, as a yeah illustrator, then graphic designer, then fashion designer. So I've done a bit of everything, but I hadn't done 3D before I started doing AR. So yeah. This week we're going to be designing a simple layered illustration. Uh, we're going to turn it into an animated 2D sticker out in the world, just like this example here. So I'm gonna take you through step by step from your drawings, how to export them, the best way to do that. And then we're gonna take it into Spark AR and create a 2D animated sticker. So let's get on with it. Okay, so for this week's tutorial, you're going to be using Procreate on the iPad, Photoshop, on Mac or PC, and then Spark AR on Mac or PC. Uh, if you don't have Procreate, I'll drop all of the files from today's video down below. Those will be free to download. Um, you're welcome to donate if this has been of value to you, but you don't have to. So yes, let's just jump straight into our process. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're getting anything valuable out of this video, it would be a real help to me if you'd hit the like and subscribe button, and then I can make more of these for you. Okay, so here we have Procreate on iPad, and I've already sketched out um, some lettering. And what I'm going to do is try and outline that in a smoother pen. Now, this can take me a while because I'm a bit out of practice. So we do the outlines, and then we just drag in from the color to fill that up. Um, you don't need to be too precise at the moment because we can just clean it up in Photoshop later, as is the way that I usually do things. Um, so let's just fast forward through all of this. It is good to try and get this as smooth as possible now, um, but don't worry, you can always smooth it out in Illustrator or in Photoshop whenever you need to. But here in Procreate, uh, we're going to be creating our layers. So the layers of our sticker will make as layers in Procreate. Um, so we'll have like just three layers in this one initially. Right, so this is a fun little trick in case you don't know it in Procreate. So if you go into Drawing Guides and then into Symmetry and Radial Symmetry, uh, that will allow us to draw in one quadrant and it radially, radially symmetrizes them. Does some radial symmetry and that allows us to get it all the way around and it makes for really, really fun little effects to do this really fast as well. So we'll do a lovely sun illustration for that one. Right, so we've got two layers and I think we need a third really. Again, don't worry too much about resizing it at this point, we can always do that in Photoshop, which is a bit faster. You can probably take these illustrations straight from Procreate into Spark AI. You don't really need to do the Photoshop process, but this is just the way that I do it because um, I find that it's just easier to get them correct for what we need. Right, so in Photoshop, we're just going to blanket color them um, and turn them all white. Now, the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be using them as alphas. Now, an alpha is like a mask layer in Photoshop. And this allows us to get like uniform color all the way across them. Um, you, by all means, you don't have to do this. If you want to do some texture illustration, you're more than welcome to do that here. Just make sure you cut it out. Um, if you want to do texture illustration and use it as a mask, just make sure it's a grayscale illustration and it'll pick up the color better in Spark. So we'll go to export as um, and then get the correct canvas size for all of them. So let's do... 3,000, 3,000. If we have the same canvas size for all of them, it just means they'll line up 
properly when we export them and uh, bring them into Spark so we don't have to fight them there. Right, so with those exported, it's onto our Spark build. All right, so for this one, we are going to choose Basically, we'll be creating a version of the 2D stickers template, but I'm going to show you the way to do it from scratch so that you know how to do it. Templates are great, you should use them, but you should also learn how to do it yourself. And the first thing we're going to do is save the project. We'll call it V0 for now, and then we'll import our assets. And then let's name these text, heart, and background. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create materials for each of these now and we'll probably call them the same thing, text, heart and background. Okay, so that's done. And what you want to do is you want to select them all, we're going to change them to flat. So these are flat materials now, so they won't reflect light or anything, so it means we can have very vivid colour on them. And then we're going to insert a plane tracker into our scene. So the plane tracker is used with the back camera. And what that does is it finds a plane out in the real world and that places where we want our sticker to go. Okay, so we're going to add a null object into our scene. Um, and then we'll call this sticker. Now what this is, is an object that is like an envelope for all of our layers. And it means you can move this around instead of moving each individual layer. Right, so we'll add one plane, make it a bit bigger. Four, 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 hip. And then we'll give this the background material. And then under background, let's just add in our background and there you go. So you can see that that's just an alpha, that's just a mask. So the color at the top, white, is the same color as what's being shown here. Um, so we add it in as an alpha and then let's change the color I'll do for now and call this background and let's move that back a bit because that is the background and we don't want them overlapping so minus 0.1 for now If you press Command D and duplicate that, and then we'll call this heart, and then duplicate that and call this text. Now let's bring heart forward. Let's add our material on, bring it to zero. So it sits in front of our other plane and bring this one in front of that and change that to text. Now let's go to our materials to alpha. And then we're gonna add in heart for that one and then text for this one. Alright, and you can see them there, so let's just change their colours a bit. Now you can obviously play around with the colours yourself, um, find what you want to use for yours. I think we need something a bit more contrasty in here, don't you? Change this to green, a bit darker. And a bit more intense in the color. There we go. Let's make the background a bit bigger, I think. Bring it a bit closer. Yep, a bit bigger, nice. And as you can see, they are invisible from the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to our render options and change these to double-sided. 
Um, but as you can see, even though they're transparent objects, we're not able to see through them. So we need to click alpha test and this allows us to see them from any angle. Okay, so we're going to open our patch editor and what we're going to do is we're going to bring the rotation in from uh, our background layer. Um, we're going to get a pack node, so right click and just type pack and that will bring this up. Uh, it needs to be a vector 3 because our rotation is a vector 3. Same with transition, this is a vector 3 as well, um, but we're going to change this to a number. Uh, and we are going to attach this to the Z axis and change that to 360. So that should turn 360 degrees. But to do that, we need a loop animation. And let's change the length of that and connect the progress to the progress. And there you go. It's going the wrong way. So let's swap those around. There we go slow it down a bit, I think. So you already have an animated sticker. That wasn't very hard, was it? Right, and we're going to add in the rotation for the heart. Um, and let's copy and paste all of these and bring these up. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to change this to, I don't know, Thirty and minus thirty, so it should tick tock. But as you can see, it's just ticking. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our loop animation and tick mirrored. And what this is going to do is this is going to bring it back. So it'll swap between them. So the transition curve uh, gives you a lot of options on the way that the animation works. Now sinusoidal or in out is quite smooth at either end. So if you want to Google animation curves, they'll explain a bit more about it, I'm sure. Okay, so going to do here is we're going to change the position of our text so we'll bring it a bit closer and a bit further away so we want to take our initial y position z position sorry um, and then add a little bit onto that you can also do a similar thing with the scale so let's scale this up from between four and five and change that to a vector 3. There we go. Three animated layers on a sticker. Feel free to play around with all these values and find something that works for you and your project. But I use these transition and loop animation patches a lot. This is our sticker. Um, this is an optional little thing, but what we're going to do now is we are going to add in a shadow to our sticker to make it look a bit more 3D and out in the world. Uh, so what we're going to need to do for that is we are going to need to add in a plane um, to our plane tracker. Uh, and straight away this is the wrong way around so we're going to change this on the x-axis to oh let's change this to shadow on the x-axis we'll change it to 90 minus 90 there we go and then change the scale to match something that looks a bit more like our sticker so a bit wider a bit more depth to it right and i'm going to show you 
A bit of an interesting technique that I use quite a lot. Um, so this is going to multiply onto the floor, but we're going to use the alpha blend mode for the moment so we can see what we're doing. So there's our texture, and we're going to search for SDF, um, and then circle. So an SDF circle is a sine distance field circle. It does a similar thing to the alphas that we've used in our sticker. Uh, so we're going to search for um, smooth step, the smooth step patch. So when searching for these, you can just type them in or you can go and scroll through and look for them. Um, and this will be in the maths bit, I think. Nope, smooth step, there we go. Right, and then we're going to add a mix node onto this. Oh, subtract, yeah. We're going to add a subtract node onto this, and we want to invert that, so it would be 1 minus the smooth step. And then if we change that value to 0.1, you can see that it has changed and we have no lips on our plane. So let's make that smaller. Um, and on the smooth step, we're going to change this to 0.5 uh, and we're going to change this to a darker colour so it becomes a shadow. There we go. That's pretty strong. So what we're going to do is we'll multiply that and then take the opacity down to maybe 20%, something like that. 50, mm, 70. And then you can change all these values so it suits your object, whatever you make. So, to add a bit more life into this, we're going to take the position of our sticker and we're going to add in a transition node. So the sticker is the, the null object that holds all of our layers. Now, instead of moving each individual layer, we can just move the null object that holds them. As I said, it's like an envelope so that everything lives within it. So let's change this few values in here and we'll do the same as what we did before. Loop animation, mirrored. There we go. And it's probably going a bit close to the floor, I think. So let's fine tune those values. Make it a bit smoother. And you see we've added a transition in the size to the shadow as well, so it gets smaller the higher up it is. And there we have it, there is our 2D sticker. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this week's tutorial. As always, all of the files from this tutorial are going to be in the description below, uh, along with my setup, so what I use to do my work. If you use any of those links, I might get a small commission, which would be very helpful. This is the first part of a series of tutorials um, that I'll be doing on taking your 2D skills into augmented reality and into 3D. Uh, so tune in next week for the next tutorial in this series, which will be taking our 2D sticker and turning it into a 3D sticker. Uh, if you've got any questions on anything we covered today, please drop them down in the comments below and I'll try and get back to you on them. Otherwise, have a great week. Thanks.